Hello guys and gals! It's been a while for sure, but um, I'm finally back. And I have no excuses because I have basically just not wanted to read. And I don't know why that is. It's probably because I've gotten a few bummer books lately and so it kind of has hindered my love of reading a little bit. But right now I am reading um, The Lion Game by Sarah Shepard and it's actually pretty good. So. I'm hoping that it will um, reactivate my love for reading and I'm also probably going to go to the library tomorrow since I only have like five books that I need to read so running low but um, yeah so I have gotten many requests to do a updated bookshelf tour and so I'm going to do that now uh, it hasn't changed much but people want to see it so yeah um, I only keep books that I liked or loved um, that were probably like four stars and up for me. Maybe some threes, depending on what it was, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and hopefully I will be coming at you with a book haul tomorrow. Okay, guys, here it is. The first shelf is my series shelf. Then the second shelf is all of my single books or books that I am waiting to get the second or third or next installment or books I just haven't moved up to the sh other shelf yet and then down there is books that I need to read um, yeah to be read pile so I have Hush Hush and Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick I also have Linger by uh, Maggie Stavater with Shiver over there for some reason then I have my little froggy and then I have Leaving Paradise and Return to Paradise by Simone Elkalez love 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 her then I have, of course, the Twilight series, um, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn. If you haven't heard of them, you've been living under a rock. Then I have my Pretty Little Liar series by Sarah Shepard. There is also a TV show about it now, I think. Um, I haven't watched it yet, but I think it's on ABC Family, if you guys are interested, for everybody living in the United States. And then, whoa, my doll just moved and that really freaked me out. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> then I have the uh, Twilight graphic novel, Volume 1. Love, love, love this, especially Jacob, of course. Can't wait for the second one. And then I have the short second life of Bree Tanner, which is kind of for me, but whatever. And then I have the Darkest Powers Trilogy by Kelly Armstrong. The Summoning, the Awakening, and the Reckoning. I love, love, love Cleric. And she also has a second um, series kind of like this one coming out, but it's not my Cleric, so I don't know how much I like it, but I'll definitely give it a try, but I just love, love, love Cleric. Um, then I have my favorite, one of my favorite series of all time, the Gemma Doyle Trilogy, and it is A Great and Terrible Beauty, Rebel Angels, and The Sweet Far Thing. Sorry, my camera keeps zooming in and out, it's really annoying. But, um, due to my intense, intense maturity, I think of fart every single time I see The Sweet Far Thing. Don't know why, I just put those two... <laughs> together and I think the sweet fart thing every time I don't know why I'm just really mature like that but that's just what I do so just a little funny tidbit for you and now I bet you every time you see that title you'll think of it I bet you I bet you money um, and then I have the Hunger Games uh, trilogy by Suzanne Collins another really 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 good series um, the Hunger Games Catching Fire and Mocking Jay um, and they're actually in order of my favorites, too. I liked Hunger Games the best, Catching Fire, and then Mockingjay. So, kind of interesting little tidbit. Then I have the Evernight series. I cannot wait for Afterlife to come out um, in March, I think. I'm pretty sure in March. But there's Evernight, Stargazer, and Hourglass. And um, I am totally 110% Team Balthazar. So, hopefully something will happen in Hourglass. But, yeah, not a Lucas fan too much. Then I have Need, Captivate, and Entice by Carrie Jones about pixies, and it's an amazing, amazing series. Um, Entice was okay, but Need and Captivate were lovely. And then, of course, my Shiver. And then I have my Harry Potter Deathly Hallows um, collector edition box thing with a book in it. 
And then moving down, I have these guys. I have The Ghost and the Goth by Stacey Cade. I have um, The Devouring by Simon Holt, which I'm actually going to reread soon. I have um, Some Girls Are by Courtney Summers. The Summer of Skinny Dipping by Amanda Howells. Dreaming Anastasia by Joy Preble. The Absolutely True Diaries of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie, which is really funny, guys, if you haven't read it yet. Um, the Arc of Fall for Anything by Courtney Summers. I have The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Neffenegger. A Northern Light by Jennifer Donnelly, and I cannot wait to read Revolutions. It looks really good. I have The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. Looking for Alaska by John Green. The Night Runner by Max Turner. The Year I Turned 16 by Diane Schwimm, which is a bind-up. Sarah Sh uh, Dust in This Lullaby. Sarah Ockler, 20 Boy Summer. Jackson Pierce, As You Wish. James Patterson, Sundays at Tiffany's, which is really, really, really good. So sad. Um, the Iron King by Julie Kagawa. Impossible by Nancy Worland. A Match Made in High School by Kristen Walker. If I Stay by Gail Foreman. And The Summer I Turn Pretty by Jenny Han. Then, hiding in that corner, I have Graceling by Kristen Kishore, Perfect Chemistry by Simone Okalez, which I love, 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 um, Willow by Julie Hoban, The Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side by Beth Van Tasky, Possessions by Nancy Holder, um, Katie Allender, Bad Girls Don't Die, Jane by April Linder, which I really, really liked. Okay, now I'm going to have to start moving books. Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. Sorry, the glare is horrible. Um, ah, there they go. Alright. I knew this video wouldn't go perfectly. So, I'll just have to deal. Alright. And then I have Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. The Prophecy of the Sisters by Michelle Zink. Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins, which is one of my favorite, favorite books. Deadly Little Lies by Lori Ferrius Stolarts. Um, Jekyll Loves Hyde by Beth Fantasky. What I Saw and How I Lied by Judy Blundell. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. Bleeding Violet by Dia Reeves. Um, Bree Dispain's The Dark Divine. Nevermore by Kelly Creek, which is really, 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 really good if you haven't read it yet. Please, please, please do. It was my first book of the year, actually. Um... Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Lauren Kate's Fallen. I don't like this book, but for some reason I just wanted to keep it. Um, the Hollow by Just Cover Day, which is another one that I didn't really care for, but I wanted to keep. Beautiful Creatures by Margaret um, um, Stoll and Cami Garcia. And then Andrea Kramer's Nightshade, which is really, really good. And you can see how big it is compared to the other books. I mean, this book's pretty substantial, but Nightshade is just huge. Then, moving down, I have some new books, actually. So this will kind of be a um, book haul, in a way. But the first book I bought was The Iron Queen. I was going to save this for a book haul, but it just never got around to it. But, yeah, it's the third book in the Iron Fae series. And then, I actually got my signed copy of Haunted by Joy Preble. Um, she sent me this really sweet note. And then, oops, I just dropped it. And then she signed it. Very, very nice. I'm sure I'm going to love that book. It's about mermaids. Who doesn't love mermaids? Then I have Glimmer Glass by Jenny Block. Then I have Ink Exchange by M Melissa Marr. And then Deadly Little Games by Laurie Farias Stolarts. And then I have these book covers. <sighs> this one was a mess and not worth my time. Zero out of five stars. I couldn't finish it. Yuck. But I want to keep it just because I like them together. I'm really a bad, bad person. But <laughs> then I have, I'm currently reading this one, Guardian of the Gate by Michelle Zink. This is the second one. I left it at my job though. So I had to start a new book over the weekend because I didn't have my other book. And then I'm reading this one right now, The Lion Game by Sarah Shepard. So, yes, those are all of my books. Um, I actually really like my book collection right now. They are all books that I would reread without hesitation. So, 
I'm glad this video wasn't very long, so I don't have to edit it. But, yeah, so now I have to put all these back because you guys know how OCD I am. But hopefully tomorrow I will, like I said, have a book haul for you, whether it be half price books or um, a library haul. I don't think it really matters to you guys, does it? But anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm sorry that I haven't been around lately. I just haven't had a love for reading lately, and that's very sad, but hopefully it'll come back soon. Well, it is coming back, so rest assured that I will continue reading, and this channel will not go anywhere. So yeah. I hope you guys are having an awesome Sunday night, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!